Hello, everybody. I will present uh, oh, how this works. Ah, OK. <laughs> so I will present uh, basically quantum espresso Emax modes. But before that, I will also present the head doc, because the head doc is used to generate, automatically generate the quantum espresso Emax modes. So uh, what is help doc? An incomplete and a very short answer is that it is a machinery behind the transformation of this uh, input underscore, let's say, PW def files into input uh, underscore PW HTML files. Mm -hmm. But it's more than that. Uh, before 2008, you, you will remember that uh, the usage of a given uh, program within the quantum espresso uh, so the syntax of the input file was explained uh, with a plain text uh, input underscore uh, file. And then the basic idea of the help doc was uh, to transform this to make it kind of a computer semantic, because this can be exploited uh, in a number of ways. And uh, to yield uh, a more user-friendly documentation is, ju is just one of, uh, of uh, the exploitation of this. So the reason for this was that uh, uh, the input is kind of uh, constantly evolving. There are no uh, new input variables. Uh, some uh, old uh, input variables are, are, uh, are, are, are getting removed, and so on. And so it was very difficult to kind of synchronizing the PW GUI with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the quantum espresso, because there are so many, so many variables. And so this is. This is how this, this was born. And so uh, at that time, uh, these uh, files need to be transformed to kind of a computer semantic file uh, files. And uh, from this uh, reason, the, whatever markup uh, is used, it should be practical. And so this is how uh, this uh, head doc machinery uh, works. So now in the quantum espresso, we have these uh, dev files and with eight of head doc. This is first transformed into XML files. And then there is a kind of style sheet transformation with the aid of uh, this, uh, this program that transforms these XML files into the HTML files. And this is now kind of a description of the input files. Another use of, of this, uh, this is another transformation. So it is a different uh, style sheet transformation. And this creates uh, from input XML uh, creates the help files for, for, for the GUI, for the PW GUI uh, application. Help doc also, uh, uh, in addition to HTML, also creates a plain, a plain text file. And uh, so uh, why not to use this directly? Uh, this is, is related to, to what I was discussing this morning, that XML is not very practical. Because, I mean, my, my point of view from the user point of view is too, is too decorated. And here is just comparison between the markup of uh, dev and the XML. And you can see that this is uh, much more, let me say, compact than this one. is twice more compact. But otherwise, you see, is one-to-one -one, uh, correspondence between the, the two. And it is twice more compact because, OK, if we just look at this default, we see default and curly braces. But in XML, we have something like uh, smaller and greater default and then the closing tag. And so this is more compact than this. And uh, from the user perspective, it is easier to write this than that. And then HelpDoc transforms this into that form. And so, uh, OK, whatever one uses, there is some markup. And one needs to learn the markup. And so how, how one can uh, learn it? Well, is, for me, it's the same as using LaTeX. I never use LaTeX uh, from scratch. So I take an existing file, and I, I modify the file. And this is. Uh, well, here it would be the same. I mean, you take an existing file and then you take it as a as a template. Otherwise, this uh, the syntax of the def file of the def file, or, uh, is uh, shortly explained in 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 this uh, in this in this file. And formal the description uh, the syn the description of the def syntax is uh, is uh, is uh, is described by a schema that is that is uh, that is uh, located here. This is a a subdirectory into the into the repository of the quantum espresso. So there is uh, one issue that uh, from time to time pops up. Uh, if we look at uh, let's say the text within the leaf the leaf uh, node, this text is passed on uh, let me say verbatim like a preformatted. 
So here you see the, some structure of the text and uh, this would be the resulting HTML file and you can see it's precisely the same. And so what is done is that this uh, ident is skipped and then all this red is used verbatim. And then, so if you, if you write here a very long line, then this means that a very long line will appear in the HTML. So the recommendation would be to keep this, uh, this text within some 70, 80 characters. And last year there were some uh, new features added and one of these is uh, options because uh, for some variables like uh, smearing uh, is not uh, enough to say that it is, uh, uh, it is uh, of character type because basically it has some, some options which are predefined. And with these, uh, with these uh, options and then uh, this option, this one is a comma separate list and this one you define basically this uh, uh, kind of semantically and then this can be exploited uh, uh, in order to easier update the, let's say, PW GUI or something like that. It's a bit more of writing than uh, if it would be kicked in this forum, but at the end, okay, you also get uh, somewhat nicer formatting in the HTML uh, file that describes the input. Uh, okay, some more uh, new features that were added the last year is that uh, uh, that in this, uh, if uh, within the text of this uh, dev files, uh, 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 something like this appears, something like PRB or PRL or ICAR, archive or DOI or HTTP address, this will be, uh, this will be automatically transformed into the hyperlink. Here, for example, we can see an example of this. So here, just the text says is, it is FISREF B40 and so on, and here you can see this is turned into a hyperlink, which is a kind of a user friendly because the user can just click, click this and immediately gets, uh, gets the paper. And so uh, in addition to that, in the last year, there were some uh, earth prefix attacks that were, uh, that were added. Uh, and now one can uh, say something like, for example, uh, earth ref an identifier where identifier is a variable, a name list or card name or link and document where a document can be external file or some web page. In addition to that, one can also use some, some uh, primitive HTML tags uh, for, for fancier formatting. And here is, uh, is an example. So if you say something like this, a link, and then this will turn into the hyperlink. And here you are referencing the variable. And so you can click on this and you can then get a description of what it is. And then of course you can also make some some words a uh, uh, bold. Okay, so uh, this uh, kind of uh, dev files have been exported in a number of ways, and uh, Pietro also this morning uh, has uh, described us that uh, now a lot of things when you define in a computer semantical way some uh, I don't know uh, the structure of the input file, then this can be automatically exploited for generating uh, the corresponding code. And also, these dev files have been exploited in a number of ways. So I just described this kind of uh, um, HTML, the, the automatic generation of HTML files. The other thing that, uh, that this is used for is kind of semi-automated updating of uh, PW GUI. And then uh, the last year, this is new, in the last year is that uh, now this is also exploited for kind of uh, automatic generation of uh, Quantum Espresso Emacs modes. And uh, also, this will be also used for kind of semi-automated updating of the PWTK. PWTK is kind of scripting interface for PWS, yeah. But this is uh, in progress. Okay, now I will describe uh, this uh, Emacs, uh, Emacs modes for Quantum Espresso. So basically, this uh, Quantum Espresso Emacs modes is a collection of Emacs major modes for making the editing of Quantum Espresso input files easier and more comfortable with Emacs. Okay, it's just for Emacs, but if, you, if somebody is using uh, WI, I would just like to, to, to tell that uh, for uh, Emacs has also an emulation for VI. So if you are using WI, you can use this uh, VI emulation uh, for Emacs, and then you can also, uh, then you can also uh, use, uh, use uh, let's say, kind of uh, these modes uh, for VI. So what do these modes uh, have uh, is kind of syntax highlighting, auto-indentation, auto-completion, and some utility commands. And here you can see it. 
So this is uh, how now the PW input file is opened in Emacs. And because uh, this was kind of automatically generated, uh, so uh, these uh, major modes uh, knows all the, uh, the variables and all the name lists are on all the cards of the quantum espresso. So you see they are colored. And if you make a mistake, some typo, then it's not colored. And this is kind of signal to the user that some mistake has been made. And yeah. And there are also some, uh, some um, uh, useful uh, commands. Like, for example, you can, say, you can say something like this, where this proc is the name of, of uh, a given quantum espresso program. And then this command insert template will kind, I will show this in a while, in a, in a second. It will, it will just uh, create a template kind of a, a empty uh, input file for, uh, for, for a given program. And then uh, this is uh, also very, very nice, this kind of uh, Emacs auto-completion mechanism. For example, you can, say, uh, you can say PW underscore C, and you press tab, and you get all the variables on all the card list that starts with C. I will just show this now, how, how all this looks like. Uh, now I don't know how to, no. I need to shift the Emacs to the other. Okay, so so I can say pp insert template and I get something like this, and here is also some description because this for me, this plot num, uh, what did I do? Uh, it has this numeric code and this is for me always a problem to remember which digit means something, and so with this I have kind of a, of a help, and. Uh, so uh, just to show, uh, just to show also this auto comp uh, uh, completion mechanism of Emacs. So I can say something like and now here I have all, let's say all the, the cards that starts with C. If I, if I click this, then ooh, I don't know how to use the this mouse, and then okay, something like that. Or I can I can say, for example, and then I will have here kind of template uh, for for the for the PW input file. Okay, so this is more or less uh, this is more or less what these uh, Emacs. Uh, the quantum espresso modes are about. Now I have pressed something that. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so this is more or less all I wanted to, to show. So.